Hey, welcome back to another LEGO set review. This one's a bit older. This is from 2009, I believe. It's from LEGO Pharaoh's Quest, a discontinued epic theme. One of the many one-off themes or original themes that were sadly ended before they could really take off. I got this for free. That doesn't guarantee a, like, glowing review, but I do think this set is pretty awesome. Um... And it is a bit old, so I'm going to be a bit fra um, careful with it. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it came out again in 2009. It's got 125 pieces. And I'm not going to bother with the set number because that's boring. But this is a great set. It was, I believe it was a $20 set at the time. And I remember when this came out, it was kind of cool because this whole theme was based around a, an Egyptian type of setting. And you had all these different, like, action hero type characters like archaeologists and and uh you know scientists and whatnot and they're all trying to get to this one pyramid to stop um i, I believe it was i forgot the pharaoh's name but there's like this evil pharaoh who's trying to rise to power and so all these different sets had gemstones in them and if you put all the gems at the pyramid i think something like that i don't know the story i don't remember i didn't get into this theme but um it, it, yeah, it was just like this big adventure type of theme, and uh, essentially there's this big battle at this pyramid. I remember that being a big deal, and um, yeah, this theme is very cool. It's original. It's not, you know, based on anything, um, although I'm going to say it reminds me of Indiana Jones and the Mummy put together. Uh, it's, it's mixed with a little bit of National Treasure, so three of my, you know, three of my, my favorites are kind of put into one. Um but anyway, comes with three minifigs, two builds, and FYI, this stand for the plane does not come with the set. I just added that just to, I don't know, give it, make the plane like hover, I don't know, just to make it easier, just so it's not on the ground. But before we take a look at the builds, let's take a look at the minifigs. I decided to make the, have this aerial view. I apologize for the shadows, um, but I decided to just have this different view just um, because on the box they have it like this. I don't know, I tried to, to recreate that. But, let's start with the first minifig, which is Jake Rains. This is the main character of the theme. I believe this is a, a new version of him, or unique version, because he's got the helmet, and he's also got the jacket. I believe this is a flight jacket. Um, hopefully you can see him. There you go. Here he is, he's got a great looking torso, dark brown. I'll be a bit careful with this one. Got a gun. He's got the goggles with the helmet. Only one face. The face is really unique. It's definitely got really cool sideburns with some facial hair and a, a really cocky look, which I like. And on the back is really a really cool logo for the for the theme. I, I don't remember what the initials stand for. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it does look very cool. The one complaint I have about this one is he doesn't have leg printing, which is kind of lame, but... The fact that he's so cool looking kind of makes up for it. And in the set, he doesn't come with hair, but this is the hair that he would have in other sets. So that's just a look, another look for him. But we're going to give him the helmet just because in this set he's flying. But yeah, there's the hero, the main minifig of the set. Next up, we've got two identical flying mummies. These are the villains of the set, and I believe they also guard the different uh, temples and pyramids as well. Uh, one of them is a bit faded, the face printing, which I actually think adds to it. Both got spears, they both got this massive wing piece, which is specialized just for this, this set, I believe. And it's great. Also got the helmets, I believe the pharaoh helmets are not new, but they're new in this color, dark blue. And both have great printing. Look at this printing, it's fantastic. I'm just going to show one of them, just because it's they're the same. But yeah, this printing, man, is is it's epic it's got such a great level of detail you know you've got the gold shiny pieces and you know lots of wraps i mean it's tons of wraps for this one and even the leg printing is great too with the belt as well headpiece is really cool too really nice printing on that and then for some reason jake reigns doesn't come with any other face but these guys come with double faces it's a little bit weird because you know you would think they would just have the one face but this one's got this really epic one eye through the wrap look. And then this one is just the double eyes. It's more of a, like a zombie, but it's obviously supposed to be a pharaoh. 
but it's really cool. I don't know. I really like that. Um, but those are the minifigs. They're great for this set. Really, really cool. My only complaint is really that there should have been a place to put the mummies, like, in the air. I think that's... It would have been better, but... Anyway, uh, let's start with the first build, which is pretty simple compared to everything else. Uh, it's a pillar as that falls over. So this is a... It's, like, just a part of the sand area. So it's got, like, the sand base and a leaf piece... And it has a couple stickered pieces to represent hieroglyphics. Very cool. Hope we can see that. It's very nice. You can see it's not quite identical. The stickers are, are, are different. So that's pretty awesome. And it's a pretty simple pillar. On the very top, we've got some gold pieces with some black, um, you know, design with the that top piece. And this is what these mummies are guarding. This little gemstone here. I'm not exactly sure... What this is supposed to be it's like a dark blue jumper uh and then we've got just a blue gem and this is what jake is trying to steal this is what he's trying to go after in this set and i'm assuming it's very important because that's why he's trying to get it i don't know the backstory of this i'm sure someone who's a bigger fan of pharaoh's quest in the comments will probably you know have a bit of better a bit of a better idea but let me know down below what this gemstone is for and why is it so important but uh, the last part of this set is the best part. It's also a little bit fragile. This is the biplane, and this thing is fantastic. Uh, for such an old set, this is really cool. It's got a couple sticker. Actually, it has two, four, six stickers. So two on the back fin here with that awesome eagle logo. You got this right here, Spirit of Louise, I believe, and then the two bullseye stickers which are really cool this is very old-fashioned again it reminds me of the mummy the most it has a very similar aesthetic like an action adventure type of airplane which is really cool this whole theme is very action oriented and it does have one feature uh on the bottom here you can see this little arm thing kind of retracts up you can move it you know to the left or the right but essentially this is supposed to grab the gem so if you grab the plane it's supposed to kind of work. It doesn't really want to... Oh, okay, never mind. It does kind of work. You got to, like, finagle it a bit. But, yeah, you grab the gem and you fly off. And then the mummies will either kill you or die themselves. It just depends on the storyline you want to do. But, yeah, that uh, gets put up into the plane. And then it should stay. Yeah, it stays when you, like, retract it. And then you could probably just attach the piece to the wing if you want to, like, make it secure. But that's the only feature with this thing. Otherwise, it just looks really nice. You can see, like, some machine guns on top, and look, which look really great. Just really nice. And then you've got the propeller, obviously, that spins very nicely. And it, what, nice colors, too, especially the dark red. The dark red is a beautiful Lego color. Unfortunately, it's also a very fragile piece. Uh, for some reason, reddish brown and dark red are like the most fragile Lego pieces imaginable. It's really weird. They still haven't fixed the issue. So if you have this set, you want to, you need to be very careful because if this drops and it, and one of these wing, I had an incident, let's just say, and the wing broke, so I had to get a replacement. So just be careful, especially with the edge of the, these edge wings here, uh, just because they are very fragile, um, you know, brittle, I'd say. So just be careful. Um, but I like the design of this. It's very cool, like windows for the supports and got the nice windshield here and a single control stick there. Obviously, you can put Jake Reigns in here, put him in there. Got uh, six studs, so he fits in very nicely. You can close it on up and there he is. Looks great in that plane. Obviously, you know, the stand doesn't come with it, but it just, it, it looks really good. It's one of the most well-designed vehicles that I've seen from an old theme in quite a while. Um, and I always liked this set. I always knew of it. I never got it because I was mainly into Star Wars at the time. But to have it now is really cool. A $20 set, this is absolutely worth 20 bucks. I mean, you get three figures, two of which are really elaborate with these mummy dudes. They're so cool. Um, and yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. It's really nice. You know, you got the gemstone, lots of action with this set for sure um and it's a really good display piece as well because you've got like 
all this action, you know, with the pillar. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice looking set. It's treated, or I, I, I think there's only one piece missing. It's one of these um, green leaf things. It's supposed to be on the other side, but it doesn't really matter that much. Um, but I just think it's really nice for such an old set. Um, it was treated very well. And my good friend Daniel, he let me have it, which is just really cool. Because, um, I don't know, it's it's very um, nostalgic, even though I never got into the theme. It's just, it gives me a little bit of a piece of the theme. Um, I remember the big pyramid set being, like, the big deal back then. And, unfortunately, I never got a chance to get that. But I did see it in the commercials, and it looked really cool. And same with this one. Um... I do think this is probably the most, the best set of the, um, theme. I have to, I'll have to do some research to see what the other ones are, but I don't know. I just think it's really, like, unique of a set and a theme. I think Pharaoh's Quest, Power Miners, Speed Racer, um, uh, Exo Force. I'm trying to think of some other ones. There's a lot of retired themes. Atlantis is one of them as well. There are so many old themes, I think, that either need to make a comeback or maybe need to be recognized because they were they were ended too soon. This is one of them, Pharaoh's Quest, another really cool theme, Galaxy Squad, Alien Conquest. <laughs> there are just so many that are really underrated. And I, I, I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you like the Flying Mummy Attack? That is the name of the set, if I didn't mention it before. Um, I probably did, but yeah, just to let you know, that's the set name. If you want to look it up, it's really cool. Again, I love this dark red. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I think it's great. I think it's great. It has a lot of play action, a lot of displayability as well. Not too many stickers. Um, again, you'll have to build a stand for the plane, but, you know, it's not that big of a problem. That's it. Let me know what you think of the set down below, good and bad. Let me know if you hate this set, if you have this, if you want it, if you remember seeing it. And uh, let me know what you think of this review, good and bad as well. Um, hopefully I showed you everything, talked about everything. And uh, yeah, um, that's it. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for your support. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and have a great day.